Hi everyone, my name is Paweł and I am a software engineer at SAS Labs. Today I will be taking you through a demo of SAS Labs failure analysis. What is failure analysis? Well, failure analysis gives you insight into where you can immediately improve your test execution on SAS Labs. With a single dashboard view within the SAS UI, failure analysis uses machine learning to view past failed data and Selenium command logs to unearth common failures and shows how they are affecting the test suite as a whole. It then presents a report with tabs that aggregate patterns that are indicative of failure. What do you need? Your Selenium test status set to pass or fail? Only then the failure analysis algorithm can process your tests. So how it works? Failure analysis leverages your test data and identifies potential failure patterns based on aggregate test errors. More specifically, the tool identifies failed tests, aggregates failures on test names, detects common failure patterns, ranks and prioritizes patterns by most pervasive impact. Okay, so let's do a quick demo. So this is a Python script that runs a simple Selenium test. Let's run it a couple of times and uh, let it pass. So let's run our Python script four times and let it pass. Now let's run a couple of tests that will fail. As this is failure analysis test needs to fail at some point to be recognized. So let's make this test fail. As you can see on the SOS UI test is running. One is already failed beneath the failed test, we see a couple of tests that passed. So let's wait until the last one will fail and check the failure analysis result. We run a couple of tests, some of them passed, some of them failed. Let's see what is the result of failure analysis calculations. To see the specifics of each failure pattern, go to insights, failure analysis or select failure patterns when viewing data about your build. So let's go here, failure analysis. Here there are failed tests where each test contains a bad or outdated web element locator. Failure analysis detects any failure patterns and attributes a percentage to show how persuasive this failure is within this particular test case. So failure analysis was designed to help you optimize test efficiency and pass rate. It's also a key feature for finding and troubleshooting test failures that occur for similar or duplicate reason. The two key advantages to using failure analysis are improves developer efficiency and helps them quickly uncover and triage the most persuasive errors. Like here, we know that this Selenium command is responsible for 100 of errors. Also, validates investment in test automation as to quickly deliver an improved end user experience while also mitigating risk of poor quality. That's all. Thank you.